Hello, this is, is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm Jory Carrot and I'm your host. They say an apple a day keeps a doctor away. I bet an apple that's on fire really makes sure that doctor never comes a knocking. So let's go try and catch it on fire. Let's go roast some nuts. I wonder how long I should put it in there. Three minutes, okay. Ventilation is key. Oh, jeez. Safety is our number one concern. Yeah, I think it's just gonna catch fire. But nobody likes roasted nuts. Definitely a good idea. Stop it, stop it. Is it a good idea to microwave this? Let's go find out. Here at the Jewelry Karen Laboratory, part two. Safety is our number one concern. We have a tinfoil shield here so we don't roast our nuts. Look up here. Because nobody likes roasted nuts. We also have two fans. Not really sufficient. Just showing off. We have two fans. It's pretty cool. And as always, our sharp microwave. Still singed from the last experiment. And there's also burnt ink. That's oh. exciting. So, in goes the apple. We even left the sticker on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... I wonder how long we should put this one in there for. Four minutes. Four minutes? Sounds like a good idea. Go, 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 go. All right, Joe, what do you think is going to happen this time? I hope what will happen is that it will look like one of those slow motion apple getting shot with a bullet videos where it just kind of blows up. That probably won't happen, but that's what I hope. Oh, it just rolled over. You just kind of exploded over. When life Something gives you apples, make apple sauce. Something must have happened because it wouldn't. When have life gives me a microwave, I stick an apple in it. Oh, it's definitely smoking out of the bottom. I think it's split. It's probably gonna smell a whole lot better in there. That's for sure. Because nature can't hurt you. I think yeah, it's definitely foaming around that cut. Grizzly bears are from nature, and they can definitely hurt you. Sorry. Uh, uh, not, um, smoking. He wouldn't hurt you. Yeah, it's, um, it's like foaming at the cut. Yeah, it's definitely foaming at the cut. Applesauce is definitely coming out of that. It's probably how they do it. I think you could make apple pie by cooking the apples in the microwave first and then slicing them up and they're already cooked. Might save time. Might save time. It might be a good idea. And if you use it with the, the soy sauce already in there, you probably don't have to use cinnamon. Soy sauce in it. It's gross. It's really gross. It's an Asian method. <laughs> they don't know shit about apple pie over there. <laughs> so now let's go and see what we just created. I'm I'm betting a little bit of a steam type of a deal. Wow. It's it has age spots on it actually. And it looks almost like uh Ooh, it, yeah, it's uh, touch it, Jory. It's like a baked potato. Oh man, that thing just okay. Let's open. scoop that onto the tray. All right, look at that. Oh, this yeah. is our victims tray we're bringing in now. Yeah, we're gonna unload the latest one, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Apple. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, maybe if it's a especially cold that's day. That's softer than. Wow, that's. <laughs> That's still coming off steam too. That yeah, that's that's it's like a baked potato. The skin of the apple acts like tinfoil. I'm not gonna try it, but I'll try it. Oh my god! You probably burn your tongue, dude. That yeah. thing's still smoking. Honestly, I really didn't see any negative effects from that. Um, there was no flames, no smoke, no explosions. It's pretty safe for you to do. If you're making applesauce, it's like one step ahead of you. It's already warm. Yeah. So, uh, is it a good idea to microwave this? Absolutely. Depends what you're doing, of course. But yeah. Well, that's it for Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? I'm Jory Karen.